Red tubers. I built my fish house inside my greenhouse. Actually, I, I needed a way to try and contain some of the heat in that little area. Um, I can't let the water really go below 50. So I'm trying to keep the, the room around it warm. At night it went down to 30, I think 38 or 37 degrees the other night. Uh, and with this structure, I was able to keep the uh, inside of that room around 65 degrees. And I'm just using two little space heaters and I'll show you what that looks like. It's the same ones I was using for my little mini greenhouse in the greenhouse last year. Anyway, I hope that this works. Only time to tell if I end up with dead fish. Well, it isn't the first time if, if you've been following along. But I hate that. I, I hope I hope to be able to uh, bring these fish in the spring and get that fish house built out there and heat it. Just not ready to heat this whole greenhouse yet. Uh, you can see I've uh, got a thermometer in here and it is uh, 89 degrees right now and uh, there's no heat on in here um, I have these two heaters let me see um, in here for the evenings I turn that on medium and it keeps this pretty warm in here totally enclosed there's a few little holes here and there but uh, for the most part, it's holding the heat in um, without much difficulty. I've even got the reservoir heated. That does nothing for what is out here. And I see this, these floating rafts. I may have to find a way to heat that water. I do have some aquarium heaters, some 300 watt aquarium heaters. I may throw one in, a, you know, these last two here and leave that one down there. Because by the time it comes all the way back, it should warm it up. I don't know. We'll see. And here's the other side. And uh, I also wanted to show you all this. I ran into a uh, the mother load on fluorescent lights. They're all over my greenhouse. I will be um, putting some more lights in here, but I'm mainly going to use these for grow lights on grow tables. I think some of these are going to go in my uh, garage that we're closing in as a game room, so. Some of these good, you know, the better ones will go inside. Alright, uh, I told you I would, quite a few of you have been asking about how I was heating the greenhouse when I do heat it. That is a 300,000 BTU heater. That is a big mama jama. And, uh, I'm gonna have to have some help from my boys maybe then some to get that up in the greenhouse where it's got to go uh, just don't have the propane tank here yet and i really don't think i'm ready uh, to start heating that whole greenhouse maybe next year i am still getting red tomatoes and um, i think once i pull this shake cloth off I'll start getting even more. Everything's looking good in here. The, the temperatures haven't hurt it in here. It's, it's been pretty negligible, the damage the cold has had, so, but it hasn't been below freezing yet either.
it's off. Don't know when the camera fell over, but we'll see. Believe it or not, that is not light. That shake cloth is pretty heavy. It's going in there. And that is where it sits in front of my pool pump until late next spring. Is she ready? Yeah, she's going to be for winter. Stay tuned.